Where do you think you're going? I just wanted to use the elevator here. You can't. I decide who can use the elevator, and you... Wait a minute. You're Lily, the show star winner. Of course. I just read an article about you. Yes, I did win that. This is incredible. If I had girlfriends, I'd call them right away. A star like you can go wherever she wants. Just take the elevator up. Sorry, but your grandfather will have to wait down here. Grandfather? Uh, but I... It's okay, Grandad. You wait down here. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> hmm, Grandfather, my sweet patootie. I'm in the prime of my life. Once I'm back in power... So the three wackers three thousand is terrible. That gives me that impression. We should send a technician, no matter what else we may do. That would be best. We'll send a probe team in to evaluate the damage. Meanwhile, we have bigger problems. The decline in the lumber business has led to a 10.32% drop in unit value. That's terrible! Can we compensate using a return value financial interest point? That will be hard. I think we can recover 3.2% through depreciation, but the rest will appear as a loss in the balance. I recommend that we expand our field of operations in order to help offset the effects of market fluctuations. For example, we could run our machines on rapeseed oil from now on. Good plan. That way we can introduce a food shortage, which will in turn cause prices to explode. Exactly! And that will increase shareholder interest, and we stage a takeover in accordance with Stock Corporation Act 4B. If we can keep the net asset value from exceeding the net margin and avoid triggering netting, we can use this as leverage. Does that mean that we continue to hold the clearance of the Elven Woods as a long-term goal? Naturally, that's our main goal. The payout ration only works once we've hit a clearance of 47.22%, which would allow us to attain a DCF value of 30.17 matches per day. We could place Dwarves Inc. on the new market while simultaneously starting an offer on the old market to push the buyout. Good move. That would limit the losses incurred through this clearing thing, and we can use the fresh capital for other projects. I suggest we buy the waste disposal service and then fire everyone. Once the garbage starts piling up, the price for its disposal should skyrocket. I've already been through that once somewhere else. But that'll bring negative publicity. We'll just buy ourselves a politician to ensure that we get a monopoly on postal services. Then we charge whatever we want. We could enter the real estate market and grant truly absurd loans. And when the bubble bursts, we rake in the profits. I'm having our technicians look into reprocessing rotten meat. Then we could retail it again. I have another idea. We make sure that the ecologists in neighbor country Arnis come to power. As soon as they've implemented their plan to stop producing energy from fossil fuels, they'll be forced to import them from us. And we, we can dictate the price. I think we should just make a computer game. Wow, that is absolutely the best idea so far. Exactly. We should, um, blah. Blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Don't bother us. We're in the middle of an important meeting. How did you get up here anyway? It doesn't matter. Please try to be quiet on your way out. So the Three Wacker 3000... Hello. I'm here about the employment ad. The employment ad? Wonderful. You're our first applicant. True. Up until now, no one has applied for the position. Then my owler's itching nose. Seeing as how there are no other applicants, you're hired. Great! <laughs> <clears throat> Say, what kind of work is it? What a question. You start out as a trainee. We're currently expanding into real estate, where we work as agents. However, we have important things to discuss here, so you'll be taking that over on your own. 
Just ask me about the different objects we have on offer once you're ready. That gives me that impression. We should send a technician, no matter what else we may do. That would be best. We'll send a probe team in to evaluate the dam. Ah, our trainee. What is it? What do you have that you want me to sell for you? I'll just list them off for you. The first object is a dreamy little castle situated in the exotic Shakin Mountains, home to almost daily earthquakes. The second object is a dreamy island located amidst the beautiful uh, shark-infested waters of the coast of Ferianis. The third object on offer is a dark, worn-out, dank old dwarven mine located on Newby Island. The fourth object is a cosy little house uh, situated on the edge of a chasm known as Death Gorge. I'll take the old mine on Newby Island. Excellent! The old mine really needs some urgent repairs, so it's a dream for the home handyman. On the other hand, it's dark and there's loads of space. And of course, it can be expanded at will. Then try to dump, uh, I mean, try to find a buyer for the object. I'll give it my best try. Meanwhile, we have bigger problems. The decline in the lumber business has led to a 10.32% drop in unit value. That's terrible! Can we compensate using a return value financial interest point? That will be hard. I think we can recover 3.2% through depreciation. A scientific study says 73% of all scientific studies... I have an object here. This isn't complete. I'm not even going to look at it until the customer has signed and the boss has approved it. Claiming computer games make you fat, sad and stupid? Hmm... Right... Nothing's... <laughs> oh, with you. Hello. We have to go. Good luck. Thanks. You too. That's exactly what I was looking for. I'll take it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Here, you can have it back now. Excellent. Now, I assume you'll get your backside over to the election. Not so fast. I'm not going anywhere until the dwarves have stamped the contract for me. Oh, I thought that went too easily. Oh, okay. It's not that big a problem. Then we'll just run back on over to the dwarves. We expand our field of operations in order to help offset the effects of market fluctuations. For example, we could run our machine... Ah, our trainee. What is it? Hello. 
I managed to sell the property on Newbie Island. <laughs> what? This old thing? That's fantastic! That thing's been a thorn in our side for ages because we couldn't find a buyer. By Moradin's persuasiveness, I would never have dreamt anyone would be able to sell that thing. Wonderful! The contract just has to be stamped and then I can return it to the customer. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, give it to the secretary downstairs and she'll take care of the formalities. But now we come to a much more joyous event. Yes? I hereby promote you to management assistant. Great! And what do I do now? You have wide-ranging powers. For example, you can use the speaking apparatus. Uh-huh. And what for? Well, uh, you can have someone bring us coffee. Oh, great idea. My cup is already empty anyway. Coffee? Oh, yes. And you have to acquire some new properties for us. We plan on entering the holiday sector soon. We want you to go look at holiday destinations and decide whether or not they're of interest to us. And to that end, we'll give you a company travel account for Dr. C's travel agency. And of course, the company covers all expenses on the trip. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, it's just occurred to me that we now have no trainee, which means no sales agent. True, that is a bit of a dilemma. Ha! I have it. Assistant, find us a new trainee. Here's the job description. But... And don't forget our coffee. Good plan. That way we can introduce a food shortage, which will in turn cause prices to explode. Exactly! And that will increase shareholder interest, and we stage a takeover in accordance with Stock Corporation Act 4B. If we can keep the net asset value from exceeding the net margin and avoid triggering... I have an object here. Excellent. Put it in the inn basket. Wonderful. Now, once a credit check has been done, an economic analysis completed, the R factor calculated, and one or two other small formalities taken care of, you can pick the thing up and return it to the customers. How long will this bureaucratic nonsense take? If I'm quick, it shouldn't be more than five or six months. Five or six months? We can't wait that long. Unfortunately, I don't see any other options. Now, please excuse me. There's another article here I want to read. Coffee. Certainly nothing to be said against that. I myself enjoy a cup every morning while I dream up new dirty tricks to play. <laughs> Something flowery. Maybe it's a cactus. Oh, ornamental plants. Who needs them? Well, I happen to think they're nice. Yes, but you're a naive little girl. Better a girl than a bitter old croc. Here it says... Enriching a mud pack with the Dwarfs Inc. Limited company sign. Pickaxes and gold. Well, at least the dwarfs stuck to their gold grubbing traditions here. Newest paparazzi photos on page 210. Does that mean that we continue to hold the clearance of the Elven Woods as a long-term goal? Naturally, that's our main goal. The payout ra- All right, all right, Cold is coming.
should have closed the deal. <laughs> We could place Dwarves Inc. on the new market while simultaneously starting an offer on the old market. Politician makes a fool of himself in the silly season. Continued on page three. Wonderful! That means the deal is done! Okay, okay. Now would you finally get over to the election? Of course. For friends like you two, I'd be happy to. Basilius is my favorite, anyhow. Basilius? I mean, Basilius? Oh, you can't vote for Basilius. Why not? Because... 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 Oh. Because he's such an insufferably good person, and he's guaranteed to tax monsters especially heavily. Oh, but that would be simply fatal. Just when I want to start my own dungeon. No, that just won't do. Thank you for letting me know. Of course I won't vote for Bathilius. Though I must go now. If you ever want to hire on as monsters in a dungeon, just let me know. We will. Guaranteed. Bye. Phew, <laughs> Seville, fast reactions there. I had to deal with a lot of politicians, and you have to be quick with a lie there. Here it says, rest in peace with sleep well pillows. That grave looks too uninteresting. There's nothing there to plunder. Ah, I mean, I think we should just leave it in peace. There's something on this headstone. Here lies Barney. Hide and go seek. <laughs> this will only take a moment. Isn't that desecrating a grave or something? So? You act like it's a crime or something. Well, actually, I think it... Oh, never mind. Just go ahead. Oh. Nothing but old bones and a couple of partially rotted bits. There's something on this headstone. Adania sleeps beneath this stone. There's something on this headstone. Adania. There are a couple of mysterious lights shining in the forest over there. Almost eldritch. Oh, come on. It's probably just an electric sign touting the dwarf's latest business idea. Or ghosts. So take your pick. I think I'll take the sign, thanks. Oh, someone's outline has been drawn on the stairs. They probably died here. Yeah, at least he died in the right place for people to clean up the body right away. <laughs> There's something on this headstone. Here they lie, my poor old... There! There's a skeleton's foot sticking out of the ground there. 
Listen, you can't expect me to provide free coffins to the poor during my reign as well. A bit of dirt and the job's done. Seville, sometimes you scare me. There's something on this head. Your name could be here. There's something on this headstone. Here lies John the Gravedig. There's something on this headstone. Here lie the remains of Jack Hummingbird, pirate and joker, who really went out with a bang. We tried to find all the pieces. <laughs> this will only take a moment. Ah, an old campus. It doesn't even point north. Take it. Maybe we can use it for something. 